Cassidy, it happened. Hello. It happened? It happened. Wow. That's amazing. I have the chat over here on the side, and so I'm watching Perfect. people go like, oh, we they're, did it. Stop. We Yay, did it. that's so exciting. We did it, chat. Oh. So I guess I'm off the hook and done. All right, have bye, to Cassidy. Do thanks for, thanks yeah. for <laughs> I'm so sorry. Bye. I promised you you wouldn't have to show up. I promised you <laughs> we'll hit 10,000 before your spot. Just just like grab one of the later spots. Don't worry about it. You won't have to show up. That's, I'm that's sorry it took I so long. It. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Great to see you. Good, good. I'm excited to code today. I am. I'm excited. So, um, first off, like chat, like I am. I am overjoyed. I just, I just also want to learn from Cassidy. So we will celebrate. Rest assured. Um, but uh, we are going to delay that celebration. Although Cassidy's going to teach and dance was the deal. If we, yeah. Yep. So, this is how you do react. You state. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry for dancing too. Uh, that was also yeah, part of the deal was... is that I would Ugh. not dance. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Startled. Oh, God. Um, so do you want to share your screen? Sure. Although someone wants to see my keyboard, so I have to show that first. <laughs> Check it nice. out. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it's That's got a some really Vim cool keys one. on there. Yeah, it's got a brass weight that looks like an anchor. Yeah, it does. I love this one. Appropriate for some... TMCs. Well done. Oh, it's nice and clicky. Love thank it. You, thank love you. it. So, oh yeah, there, there's like code to be written, but that part is very uh, important. You know? uh, yeah, I mean, having the keyboard is is the most important thing. What you do with it, who cares? Uh, yeah, 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 right. Weird. Exactly. <laughs> cool. That's so, if you I hit the little monitor head. thing, you should be able to share your screen. Let me know if that doesn't okay. work. Let's find it's out. It's been it's been hit or miss today. Mostly hit, okay. but a couple miss. You All right. See. I'm going to let's see. Come on. Chat, Except we did me. it. Chat, we, we raised ten thousand dollars. It freaking happened. Um Well, it's not letting me select one of my windows, so I'm going to move everything so it will oh, let me select my other window. Okay, sounds Should good. Be fine. Sounds good. Just, just yeah, we'll just move everything. Yeah. Just swipe. <laughs> it's not the that desk. I prepared for this or anything. Your, yeah. Okay. Yeah. By can you tell us it's getting warm in here? I've got the sweater rolled up. I'm in like the the end of this. <laughs> Hat's gonna be off soon. Oh, right, here we go. I see it, and I'm bringing it up. Here we go. Okay. Cool. So right. now, because everything is moved, when I look over here, that means I'm looking at the chat. Cool. And when I'm looking all the way off to the side, I'm looking at I the I shouldn't code. talk to you. So, oh, okay. That's what that means. Got yeah, it. Yeah. No, it's, it's mostly <laughs> just so if people see me like looking off in the distance, it's not because I'm bored or something. It's... <laughs> totally fine. Yeah. Awesome. Anyway, cool. Great. Could Let's you hit um, command or control plus just a, like once or twice? Yeah, I can. Awesome. That's perfect. That's okay. perfect. Thank cool. you. So let me actually, I'm not used to Code Sandbox. I usually just write locally, but here we go. I made this little code sandbox right here. It's a counter. Hmm. Very novel. And that's it. Uh, um, yeah. I like yeah, it. Yeah, just kidding. Okay. So it's this is truly just create React app plus a counter. And so okay. I'll, I'll show it really quick. This is the index.js. We'll close it. This is the app. And all it has is the counter in it. And then we have the counter. Cool. And so in this counter, we import use state. And for those who no React, don't know React. Use state is is a state variable thing where when you have use state, you pass in an initial value for the state. That state variable is count, and then you can change the state variable with set count. So I made these two little functions, add and subtract, and then down in here, you can click add and subtract, and that's that's what it does. It's not particularly novel. I mean, yeah, but 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 yeah, this is this is the before. This is not the after. This is, this this is the before. Yeah, you're not like I did this. I I just learned this chat. Yeah, so yeah, surprised. So what I wanted to do was talk a little bit about this use state function by destroying it mm. and building it from the ground up. Dramatic. Because we're going to get a lot. Of, oh, we're going to get a lot of errors during this, but that's okay, because use state is a very cool function called a React hook. And React hooks are just JavaScript functions, but they have certain powers. So we're going to implement use state from the ground up. And hopefully it'll work. <laughs> and so we'll, we'll find out. So we know that use state is going to take an initial state. 
in here, and then it has to return a tuple or a tuple if you're very hmm. international. Um, and so I'm just going to have a return initial value and then set value because we want to return this initial value of count, which it starts at zero, and then set count, which is the the thing that actually sets that value. So there we go. We, we have that set, but we have to actually create some of these things. And also okay. I said initial state instead of initial value here. Value, there you go. Okay. Anyway, we need to create this set value so we can get rid of that error. So we'll just do a let set value equals, and then I'm just going to do a very quick little function here just to get rid of that error. Look at that. We have a count and it does nothing, but there's no errors. And that's half that's the game. That's that's exactly it. We're basically done. Um, so what we need to do is actually make this work, which okay. would be ideal. Um, and so first we need to actually set the initial value to a new value. And so inside of this set value, we could say that we want to pass a new value into here and we will do initial value is equal to new value. And so whenever we would call this set value, or in this case, set count, it would set that initial value to it. And so that, that is how the variable will change. Um, but still not working. So we have to actually call things and, and keep track of things. So inside of React, we have all of these different state changes happening. And what is actually happening under the hood is you're changing a variable, but it's changing it in kind of like a stack of sorts. Yeah. And so what we could do is we could create a states. Uh, do we want to do const or let? What do people prefer? I'm going to do states as a const, and we'll just call it an array there. Right. OK, so we have, we have this const states right here. And what we want to do is we want to populate that with all of our state changes. And so for the return, I'm going to have this const to play is going to be equal to the initial value and set value that we have returned here. And so what we'll do is we're going to return this value. So that, that part isn't actually changing, but okay. we're going to push this to the states array. So states.push to play like that. And so now we have a set of states. And so when we actually when we actually are calling this and everything, what this will do is this will have the um, the value of zero and then the function. And then as we change it, it would be one and then the function as you keep pushing things to the array as it grows. Um, and if we had multiple pieces of state in here, React would need to differentiate between them. Because let's just say we had a counter, but then we also had like a text box that you, you filled out. There would be both the counter with like the one, two, three, four, but then there would also, let's just say it's an input that says your name in it, like Cassidy. If we were to keep populating this states array right here, then as one of those states change, we wouldn't be able to differentiate between them. And so uh, yeah. like if I were to do, for example, let, I'm going to say name, and then set name equal to use state. And I'll say Alex. That should be a string. Alex. And then I'm just going to put your name right here. Oh, come on. <laughs> your keyboard Typing will not let you do it. do it live. Hey, look, that's your name. That's um, pretty cool. And then if I were to call set name, on any point, let's just let's just say whenever we call add, we're going to set the name to something else. I'm just going to say set name is name plus exclamation point, something like that. So your name is just going to get more and more exciting as this goes on. Anyway, if we were to do this and have all of these different state changes and we keep pushing these states to the states array, then we don't actually, uh, we, we can't differentiate between them currently because these, these values aren't actually named. They're just like passed into the array. And so anyway, the one way to differentiate between them 
is not an ID or anything, because that's not what React's use state does, but it's based on the order in which they're called. Okay. And so when you think about it, inside of this React component, you, this use state count and this use state name, they are always called in this exact order. And so you might know that when you, for example, make a, a React component of some kind, if you put like, if poop equals butt, Yep. Because you're a very mature developer, mm -hmm. of course. And then you tried to put a hook after that and do Whiteboarding's like boarding's hard what? when you do that, by the way. It, it, yeah. they, they don't they don't like the interview process. Yeah. No. It's weird. <laughs> um but if you if you were to do that and then make another state variable after that, React might say, Hey, you can't do that. You you can't have a conditional because there always has to be the exact same number of states Got in a React it. component. It is because of that differentiation. There always has to be the exact same number of states in the exact same order in every React component. So that's why I can't do, once again, if poop and then return butt or whatever. You, you can't do that. It always has to be exactly the same. React will yell at you. So anyway, <laughs> we have a way of differentiating. So we need to basically count the number of calls that we have for use state. So I'm going to say let call count. And how much time do we have? We have time, right? Yeah, kind five of. minutes, I think. Um, yeah, cool. Yeah. So we're going to say we're going to let our call count is zero. And so that means that we could say uh, let ID is equal to plus plus call count. So every time we call use state, we have an ID that's attached to these variables um, and, and the order that they're called in the states array. So inside of set value, instead of just initial value is new value, we'll do a uh, states sub ID, and then the first one right in here is equal to new value. Does that make sense? Because we're yeah. changing that first value, this initial value in that states array. And so we can we can get rid of this actually. Um, and so that is generally how it works, except now we actually have to render the component differently. And so I imported React DOM here because we actually have to re-render the component every single time. So I'm going to come all the way down here and I'm just going to do function render my hook like this. And then inside of here, I'm going to do react dom dot render. And then this is just like you do it in regular react and it's going to be counter and then document dot get element by ID. And then I think it was root is where we put it. And so we have this render my hook we need to actually call it at the end of our function here, but then we also need to call inside it inside of set value because we need to re-render it every single time. Got so it. now as we click things, oh, I forgot one more thing. We need to actually reset the call count because every time the component is re-rendered, we don't want the call count to keep increasing forever and our state's values to increase forever and eternity and for always. So we will just reset our call count back to negative one. And okay. so, in theory, this is generally it. Oh, and we also want to say uh, if it already exists, if states ID already exists, then we want to return the states.id. Because if, it, if we already have that variable that exists, we don't want to recreate the variable. I think uh, that's it. Let's that's... find out. Look at that. We wow. recreated you <laughs> and your name is so exciting. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. So anyway. It feels like a Mr. Wilson kind of like, ah, Alex. Ah. It's like, like, you know, like an <laughs> Alvin and the Chipmunks kind of thing. Like Alvin, uh, that old scream. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so I did just throw a lot of JavaScript at everybody. But this is generally how React works in, uh, in that it, it cool. has these differentiating factors and there's kind of a mysterious states array somewhere that keeps track of all of your state variables. Um, and th so that's kind of how state handling works in general. This is a very basic approach. I did not cover nesting or anything like that in there, but, but in general, it's a very, very basic approach. And so React handles the complexity of persistent objects with new states. So all we have to do is, is handle how we actually get there. Um, and it handles all the DOM mutations, the state mutations and the effect mutations and stuff. Um, so again, you, can't, you always have to have the exact same number of hooks in your React component, you can't have a conditional in between. Um, and then 
hooks are implemented like this. Uh, one last thing for anybody yeah. who's been using React for a while, you might have seen those errors like cannot set state of undefined or not cannot read property blah of null or something. That, that always happened because you were setting a state on something that wasn't mounted properly or because things were happening in kind of a funky async way. And so linters yell at you about making sure you have the exact same number of hooks and in the exact same order every time for this reason, because this is high level how React hooks are implemented. Phew. It the makes end. a lot more sense now. So your your big takeaway is that we shouldn't use use state. We should always roll roll our own. That's what. No, no, no. that's <laughs> not what I'm saying. Wait, what? <laughs> no, no. This was this is really really fascinating. I I honestly never knew why I couldn't uh, do conditionals with React hooks. I should have been more curious. And uh, they're like, oh, I wonder why that is. And I actually dug into it. Um, it was like, all right, that's the rule. I, I just follow it's rules. Like, I will obey the linter. I follow yeah. the rules. And so, it's, yeah, that's It's really good to just follow the rules. But sometimes when you look at it under the hood, you can be like, oh, so that's why. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that's why you can't like recreate state variables and stuff because it looks for the different IDs and everything of these state variables. That makes uh, sense. That makes so, so much sense. Go. Yes, Cassidy. everybody in the chat, invent your own frameworks now. You know yeah. how it works. That's what uh, Nick DeJesus <laughs> is saying. He's saying, uh, I'm, I'm going to come up with my own React competitor now. So <laughs> this is going to spawn Great. the next yes. few Svelts and all the others, all the other competitors. Cassidy, thank you so much for showing this to us. This is super, super cool. Thank you so much for having me. Phew. I'm glad we were <laughs> able to get it done so quickly because I was panicking about that earlier. Oh, it and would... uh, hey. We made it to the end of the thing and raised all the money. We did all the money and we still have one more guest. It's just it's just phenomenal. I'm so I'm I'm chat. I am beyond um oh Ben Ben clipped when I when I I think Alex causes Cassidy to cry maybe. Uh, I'm not sure what the title. Right. Uh physical pain. That's what it is. Alex causes mm -hmm. Cassidy physical pain. Wouldn't be the first time. Um but yeah. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Cassidy, thank you so, so much for coming on and for, uh, yeah, for, for hanging out and teaching us about some re 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 stuttering, some React. I appreciate it. Re 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 React. Just pretend you were doing something like that, like a remix. It would, it would be a <gasps> That's a, why they named it Remix. That's why. They, Kent, get back it here. Is this true? Thing. Is this true? Kent, get back on wow. here. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Have a great holiday. Enjoy your time off. You too. Have a good one, everybody. I'll talk to you later. See you. Bye. <laughs>